So here is Lee at Chattahoochee Hills competing in the prelim division. Um, with this being uh, three months of kind of a hiatus, I like to bring my horses in kind of a level below where we were going just to kind of knock off the rust. So coming down the center line, working on being nice and straight. Can't really see in the corner. But 10 meter circle. But I have to work with uh, Lee. He can sometimes get a little low in the pole and a little behind the vertical. And he's also a little wiggly uh, through his shoulders, but working on that connection. Now he's super good in that halt. However, I lost points because I should have waited for at least three seconds. It was a little hasty to kind of get on with it. And so unfortunately, I lost marks uh, with the judge saying that I had an immobile halt. So lesson learned, count to uh, three seconds to make sure you've halted long enough. Now going for our leg yield, I'm working on trying to keep that left shoulder straighter. So again, he's kind of like riding a wet noodle sometimes and getting him to kind of step through and over his back. Now we work into our um, lengthening trot. Does that really well? Come back into the corner. I want to make sure I get him a couple of steps straight and then ask for the leg yield. This is the easier way to keep him straight, but he comes a little bit above. And again, working on getting him to take his neck up and out. And now we are in our 20 meter circle. And again, if I could have him to do anything, I want him to take his nose a little bit further down and out. He does kind of open up his neck, so that helps. And now that's a down transition to walk, which again, sorry, you couldn't see because of the judge's box. He has a very nice active walk. Working on getting him to swing through his back, making sure my elbows stay soft. And sometimes with him, he can be a little smart and try to anticipate. So I have to make sure that I keep him riding off my aids, my seat and leg. And then into the canter. He came a little bit above. I'm working on our medium canter here on the 20 meter. Getting him to open up through his step. And then I want to make sure I show a change in transition, which he does really well. And now I'm going to do a half. 10 meter circle back to the track. And unfortunately, I had a little bit of a technical difficulty with the camera. So now we're on the second or the left lead in our medium canter on the 20 meter circle. Again, wanting to show the difference, the change in frame, and then coming back into a working canter. I have to watch that he doesn't push his haunches to the left this way. And now we do our half 10 meter circle back to the track. With a down transition to the trot at F. Again, working on my straightness there. You can see you can just get a little wiggly. And coming into our final halt. Which I was really pleased with. Overall, I was really happy with the test. And we are working on building our relationship. So here is Megan, my working student. And uh, she is preparing Lee for our cross-country run by putting studs in. So these are going to be a little bit smaller studs for this run because the ground was a little firm. And however, uh, we kind of stud accordingly to each horse. He is a rather extravagant mover through and tends to, um, he can slip a little bit. So... I have a small pair of roads put on. You can see here we are coming now to the water. It gives me a great jump in. Well, it lands a little awkward, but I want to make sure I hold my shoulder back, jumping the jump out of the water. And now I'm going to let him canter up the hill and use my body for balance. Sometimes he likes to run a little bit underneath it. Sometimes I have to have a conversation with him. But overall, he did really great 
on cross country and moved us up into second place coming into show jump. So now I'm just going to take a minute here, getting him ready for the show jump. I'm going to try to establish my canter. I have to make sure I have him nice and forward off my seat and leg. Come to the first fence. He's jumping really well. I have to balance a little bit for the vertical. Sometimes he likes to what I call make a bid at the fence. So he will ignore uh, what I'm asking him to do and take a little bit over. So it's it's been a lot of uh, work for us to communicate together and to work together as a team. It's always building a partnership with these guys. We start to really get in the groove. Make sure I hold my shoulders through the double there. He jumps that oxer really well. You can see, kind of call him spider legs sometimes because he can be uh, pretty flamboyant with his front legs. He's such a rangy, scopey horse. He kind of came in pretty strong there. So I really had to hold him off with my shoulder. And I want to make sure that I keep coming through the turn, that I land and keep my leg on. And I'm going to come to the final line. And jumps that great. Really happy with their performance and we finished up in second place.